My name is Dennis van der Ende, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Are you ready? Game on. Well, Paul Hinks giving Dennis the full explanation as to how the Bullseye Challenge works, and no you should have told me one of the explanations is you have to hit the bullseye. There, he's got the memo. Four. Good on you, Dennis. Come on. He's going to take his time on every visit. He's not going to change his style for this. He's going to go for accuracy instead of pace. Three. This is solid. But he's taking possibly 10 seconds per visit. So that means that every visit has got to be good. Indeed it is. I'm going to name some One. famous Dennises in this next visit. You've got Dennis Taylor. Burkamp. Den Wise. Les Dennis. I didn't think you were going to say Les Dennis. You know, he opened Three. Asda in Blythe, where I grew up. Well, there's a mindless fact for you on a bullseye challenge. This hasn't been bad from Dennis at all. One. Game over. Not having that one? You counted it? Okay. Dennis van der Ende scores 12 bullseyes. Hold on, mate. Who's coming next on the Mass Singer Challenge? Who will it be? It's Ron Mullenkamp! Hello, this is Ron Mullenkamp, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. That may just be the most eloquent introduction to a Bullseye Challenge I can remember. You can tell he works in Two. television for Dutch TV, but he can still play. He can still play very well, but how good will he be at the Bullseye Challenge? Was it about these pundits that can still play? How does he find a way above two. that? Well, the answer is no. Yeah, I don't think he was going to get through those two darts. Never been known as the quickest player on. He's always quite methodical. Is he going to get through those two? No score. That's the risk. Someone's got to pitch one high here. Even if it goes above the 25 wire, just give himself the best possible chance. Well, Chris Mason would call this guy an aimer. But he didn't aim that Three. second dot. He just chucked it into the bullseye. Still plodding along at his own pace, though. Deciding that he'd rather have the accuracy of a few less throws than go rather quickly. And that's a reason Four. as to why. Five, and that sorry. will probably be that. Yeah. Game over. <laughs> Rob Camp scores 12 bullseyes. I'm Joel Mernon, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Joe Mernon taking on the Bullseye Challenge. That first dart was perfect. The Two. second one was a little bit wayward. He's just going to plod around the stage, isn't he? Let's see what he can do in 60 seconds. One. It's all gone a little bit downhill since dart one, like you mentioned, Henry. Doesn't strike me as a TikToker, Joe Mernon. Strikes Two. me as a bit of an old yeah, school no. dart player. And we do need a little bit of old school mixed with the new school. Oh, it gets a smile, though. Darts rejected are not a good thing in the bullseye challenge because you've only got a minute. You need a darts that pitch below when you don't stand up. Come on, Joe. You've only got 11 seconds to go. Make them count. Three. It's not too bad, but I don't think he's going to make double figures. Game over. Whoa! Joe Mernon scores nine bullseyes. And next on the mass Singer, here he is. It's Johan Brouwer! Hello, my name is Johan Brouwer, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. Well, Johan is enthusiastic about the bullseye challenge but he's not enthusiastic about actually hitting no the thing that he needs to hit he's obviously going to run around the stage and we don't mind a bit of that but every time he hits a bullseye we're going to celebrate it because that is how he plays the game no score however nothing to celebrate about so far as he is drawing a blank johan johan one score okay he's not going to score a zero he is past the halfway point now. And we haven't got a bullseye yet. One. We've only got two 25s. Got to get a move on. 
It's the one in the middle, Johan. It's the thing in the middle, Val. Two. Yeah, go on! That's how he would have celebrated it. He wants more. Go on! One more. Three. Game over. <laughs> Johan Brava scores seven bullseyes. And then here comes the next. It's Josh Carter! My name's Josh Carter, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. Come on, Josh. Give us a bosh. Give us a bash. Two. Give us all sorts of bish, bosh, bushes and bashes. Well, it's steady, the Four. progress so far. And there is a la bull la bosh, as Thomas Skinner would say. You don't get a bit nervous, but... Ooh, 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 ooh. You've lost me. Two. But he's not lost. I think this has been pretty impressive from Josh so far. And he's employing the tactic of moonwalking the hockey when he's finished. Two. What, Alamat Jackson? Well, if he does do a moonwalk at the end, I'm going to be very impressed. It's actually very hard to do that, you know. Two. Over the course of a minute, and to go backwards all the time, it's not natural for a dart player. I think this has been a really good challenge from Josh. Two. Got one more attempt to go. If he can speed up, speed up. That will Game be that. Game over. One to count. Josh Carter scores 15 bullseyes. My name is Rusty Jake Rodriguez, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. The first Austrian to ever take part in the Bullseye Challenge here at the Motor Super no Series sure. doesn't start particularly well. You could say he started rather rustily. Well, there goes the rust. Here comes the polish. And here comes Henry Four. Dickin. How do I follow that? I have no words. Maybe you don't need words when you're seeing Bullseye hit like that. Two. He's only got 60 seconds. And I've got to be honest, considering how zippy this young lad can be around One. the dartboard. I think this pace is rather mundane. Do you sometimes think too much about the pace? That might be the question you ask. Three. Well, that's a bit more like it. The dart, he's had one good visit, one poor visit, hasn't he, as far as his attempts concerned. He hasn't been able to string two visits together. Well, at least he's made double figures. He's only got 10 seconds left. It's not a bad attempt, but I think Rusty might be able two. to do better if he comes back later. One more shot. Game over. Rusty J. Rodriguez scores 13 bullseyes. Can I just get this date, Paul, before we start? This is Series 7, Week 12. Is it Series 7, Week 12? Or Group A or what? I just want to get that right for Henry. This is Group A, Week 12's Bullseye Team Challenge. Game on. 90 seconds, let's go. As a team, Two. how will Group A do in Week 12 of Series 7 then? We've got a few players in this One. group, Henry, who do take their time. So this 90 seconds, it's going to fly by. Exactly. Sounds like a blue track, doesn't it? Two. But they're hoping to see the red bit here. You're the only person I can think of who would bring up the band Blue in a bullseye challenge. No score. Well, I suppose this guy's wearing blue, but he doesn't want to feel blue. He wants to see red. One. And he will be angry at that one. Go on! One. I feel like I need to incentivize this group. And I'm going to incentivize this group. If anyone one. can hit a hat trick of balls, I'm going to add another five points onto their tally. I've made the rules up. Well, Ron's not going to do that. And they don't have a great deal of time left. Count to they on. are one minute down, 30 seconds to go, and your incentivization, if that's a word, Two. is not working, Henry. It's a bullseyes! Come on! Bullseyes! One. How many times in 90 seconds can we say bullseyes? Bullseye, 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 bullseye. Two. Eight seconds. How many times was that? Well, we know it's only five seconds to go, so Josh is going to be the last person at the hockey. No score. Game over. Group A. Week 12's Bullseye Challenge. The worst 
15 bullseyes. Thank you, Rubich. Well done, lads. See you later. Hiya, I'm Keelan Kay, and this is my bullseye challenge. The bullseye challenge is back, and now it's the turn of softly spoken Two. but hard hitting Keelan Kay as he goes for 60 seconds at the centre of the board to score as much as he possibly can. This is the way to do it. Six. Oh, that's what we like to see a triple hotspot from Double K. Well, he's a big Plymouth Argyle fan, is Keenan, but he does be a part Four. of the Green Army. The Seagull, he must be a part of the Red Army, the Bullseye Army. Plenty happening here. This Two. is really good. Spending a fair bit of time in between visits, though. And he's got up to 14 points very quickly. This is a Three. brilliant turn. He can't have lo long left. 15 seconds, though. Plenty of time to get up towards 20. One. If he goes quick, he's got one more turn. Come on, kid. It's beat up, man. Two. Very good. Keelan Skay scores 20 bullseyes. Oh, cool's here. Hi, I'm Cam Crabtree, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. It's not his first rodeo, is it, Cameron Crabtree? Three. He should be perfectly paced for this bullseye challenge because his darts sit down on the board. And he's had previous attempts with a lot of success. Four. So far, so good. Again for Shazam. He looks so confident doing this. And if he continues, after the way he started, he's in for a good total, no but that is not what he was looking for in his 60-second time limit. Cam's one of those people that scare me. Why is he Pennywise oh. in disguise? Well, he's very good in a micro with a microphone in his hand as well as on the dartboard. Why does that scare you? Two. Because any excuse to get me out of a job be a great excuse. Oh, come on. Come on, Cam. This is going to be your last shot. Two. Game over. Cam Crabtree scores 15 bullseyes. Well done. Here he comes. Hi, my name is Andy Bolton, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. It's time to face the Bullseye Challenge with the X Factor. Two. This is Andy Bolton. And it's not his first time on the Bullseye Challenge. As for One. the person who introduced him, I haven't got a clue who that person is. <laughs> Looks like Andy's been on a cruise again. Cruising to a decent score already. He's Four. not the quickest player, but he is very effective, and he's doing the moonwalk. And he's got himself seven points so far. Cruising towards double figures. Two. Looks in very good stead, does Andy. Just careful about not tripping up by... Go oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. Three. By the way, the person who introduced him was Kenneth Williams. This could be his last visit. He might get one more dart after this. However, I think that might be it. Two. Game over. Andy Bolton scores 14 bullseyes. This is Group B, Week 12, Bullseye Team Challenge. Come on, lads. Let's do it. Who's starting? Game on. Andy Bolton's definitely been on a cruise or two recently, and I think he's also attained a job as a blue Three. coat the way he was introducing people there. Well, that was a good start from Keelan in the team challenge. 90 seconds for this. Two. Five players in Team B in week 12. One. And we don't have any bullseyes yet. Will Cam Crabtree give them something to shout about? Three. Well, three on the green, that'll do. Pitching up to the hole, and finally we get the putt. Three. I think Andy's the cheerleader as well, and it seems to be working. 
three. Good stuff from Keelan. We are halfway there. 45 seconds to go. And he bowls like an Ardrosian Mr. Motivator. That could be word of the day, Ardrosian. Three. There's a lot of threes here. Can we get more than three as time ticks away? One. One's not going to cut it. They are past the 20-point mark, but they haven't One. got much in the way of time left. Right, one last go, and the X-Factor is going to have to get a wiggle on. It's going to have to get a juicy wiggle on. One. One, Andy, run. Chuck it, Joe. Chuck it. Chuck. Chuck. Move. Move. One. Game over. What was it? Same as this afternoon, then, eh? Yeah. How many do you think? How many do you? <laughs> Not too much. No? You got a, we, we, got, we got a figure. I don't know, but better, than, uh, better than Tuesday. <laughs> better than Tuesday. Better than Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. Do you want any money? 26. 39, Defo. Okay, uh, uh. Get around, lads. Here we go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Group B, week 12, Bullseye Team Challenge. 26 Bullseyes. Right. Joe Mernon got it correct. Well done, lads. <laughs> well done. <laughs> See you later. Hi, my name's Ryan Furness, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. So, Ryan Furness, the latest to take on the Bullseye Challenge. is hoping to be tripping Three. in finesse and hitting the Bullseye to a perfect degree. And he's getting off to a bit of a trot. Why do I get the feeling that he's been practicing this? Three. Three per visit could be very useful if you're going to go at this pace. Three, because he's hit a Bullseye in a 25 every time. Two. Hasn't done it this time. Oh, well, there you go. Only a bullseye this time. He even gives us the sound effects. He's had a bullseye every single turn. Five. This is a seriously good total so far. He's really getting into this. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, you've got to get them all to hit. He's got another bullseye. That makes 12 points from bullseyes alone. Meaning he's got 15 points. He's got a chance of making double figures. Times two. two. Could he get to 20? I wonder. Oh, my goodness. What an effort. Three. What an effort. Superb. Oh, did I see that one fall out the bullseye? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Furness scores 20 bullseyes. Oh, 20. Oh, oh, that one, one that fell out. Yeah. Oh. Well done, Ryan. Scott Baker. I'm Scott Baker, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. All right, it's time for Scott Baker's Bullseye Challenge. One. I apologise, Scott. I apologise, everybody in Tipton. But this is the nice guys version of the Bullseye Challenge, because Scotty B is one of Two. the nicest guys in the sport, with an iconic haircut, an iconic shirt, and an iconic game. Iconic throw. Oh. He is quick fire, so he should be suited to this format. He's had a few goes already. We're only halfway through the time. He's making quite nice progress here. Real good progress. Three. Yeah, steady stuff. He's got himself to double figures in double quick time. I just wonder Four. what he could possibly do in the final furlong here. Got to speed up like you're a Vespa. Two. I can't believe you told Scott Baker to speed up. I'm not telling Scott to do anything. He's the one who's doing it. Three. He could be really happy that. with that score. Scott Baker scores 19 bullseyes. Hello, my name's Chris Hurds, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. That's a good start for Chris Hurds, isn't it? Two. He'd like to keep it there. And for someone who is draped in green, 
Green is rather profitable in the Bullseye Challenge. And it's all green right green. here. Bit like a George Ezra track. Green, green grass. But he wants a red, red bullseye. Doesn't want that, though. No score. Get a move on, Chris. You've only got 60 seconds. That's exactly where you want to start. Three. Three points for that visit. But the time is ticking away. And he's only got a shade over 20 seconds left. One. Well, it's been a strong day for the Bullseye Challenge. It's not been a bad attempt for Chris Sirs. He's just been overshadowed by the brilliance before him. No score. That's not going to help at all. Final chance, you feel? It's got to be good. No score. But it strays wide, over. and that will be that. Chris Sirs scores nine Bullseyes. Yeah, this is Group C, Week 12, Bullseye Team Challenge. Come on, lads, let's go. Are you ready? Game on. Come on, lads. You want to you listen to Paul? Four. You can please set a... Bullseyes. <laughs> That's exactly what you want. A complete set of bullseyes. Four. Basically, you want a bull selector. Pretty much. One. We have two players in this group who have had a very good individual challenge, so we expect from Baker and Furness. Three. But as for Rusty Jake, he likes going quick, but they're right North in the way. Ball. Not good from Rusty. Here comes Captain Furness. One. It's got a bit of a ring to it, hasn't it? Now, there is a Two. tack that if the first dart is blocking below, just get out of the way. Save the time. Two. Oh, good save there from Josh Carter. And Dennis looking to van der end of the visit. Well. One. Yep, we'll get all the puns out of the way. We've got 30 more seconds. 18 One. points before that. That makes 19. It's going to have to be a really good final furlong here Four. to get anywhere close to the record total, which is over 30 points. Oh my dear Lord. No. No score. I'll tell you what, we don't need to commentate when Ryan's throwing. It would just tell us everything. Three. How long left? Nothing Game left. Over. <laughs> Group C, week 12, bullseye challenge. Scores 26 bullseyes. Well done, lads. Well done.